Welcome! As the title says, this is a 10 minute yoga to help you pass gas and go to the bathroom. Feel free at any point to skip any poses that don't feel right or modify if and when needed. We'll begin in a tabletop pose, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Dropping the belly, take your gaze up, inhale. Exhale, rounding through the spine, take your gaze down. We'll continue sinking breath with movement, flowing at your own pace. And we'll begin to find some organic movement, maybe circling the waist, rocking forward and back, side to side. You can even walk the hands further forward towards the top of the mat. So just moving wherever the body needs to go here. Wherever you are, we'll find a neutral spine. Walk the hands as far up towards the top of the mat as you comfortably can as you start to melt the forehead down towards the mat for puppy pose. If you need a little more support or height, if this is too intense, you can place a block underneath the forehead. Engaging, drawing the ribs in, but maybe softening the belly here. No clenching, of course. Pressing the tops of the feet into the mat, really engaging with the arms. And we'll gently release. Take your time. We'll tuck the toes, plant the hands under the shoulders as you send the hips up for down dog. You can bend one knee, bend the other. Just walk it out here, maybe rocking the hips side to side, bending the knees as much as you need. And we'll go ahead and plant the knees. Coming into our child's pose, you can keep the knees closer together or take a wide leg child's pose, taking the forehead or cheek to the mat. Option here to place pillows underneath the torso, underneath the hips for added height and support. Once again, working with the breath to soften the body. Again, no clenching here, just being, softening the belly, softening the lower back, the glutes, the hips, the ankles and the feet, softening the upper body, the shoulders, the arms. And we'll gently release, coming all the way up, take your time. We'll make our way down to our backs. Back stays flat on the mat as you drop both knees over towards the left for a supine twist. Option here to place pillows between the knees and underneath that left knee for added height. And you can even place a pillow underneath the right shoulder for less of a twist. Again, working with the breath, all about the breath here. Allow it to create that space. Allow your exhales to completely let go here, softening the body wherever you can.
and we'll lift up the knees, take it over towards the right. Same thing, utilize your inhales, create that space. Exhale to completely let go here. And we'll gently lift the knees, hug the knees in towards the chest, grabbing the outer edges of the feet. You can keep the bottoms of feet to touch or open the feet for happy baby. You can gently rock side to side. Perfect. Go ahead and give your knees a hug, big squeeze, maybe even still gently rocking side to side. And then we'll plant the feet on the mat. You can let the knees kind of rest against each other, maybe placing your hands on your belly. Drawing the breath into the belly, nice big inhale. Exhaling once again, soften the belly. Maybe you're feeling digestion happening, just observing, observing the body here. No tension in the belly, no tension in the ribs, the lower back, no tension in the hips or the knees, the thighs, no tension in the glutes. Resting here a few moments.
we'll gently begin to wake up the body, rocking the knees side to side. Whenever you're ready, we'll roll over towards our right, full inhale. And exhale. We'll come to a comfortable seat. Inhaling the hands up overhead. Exhale, heart center. Thank you for joining. Namaste. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it below, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates on future videos and live streams.